All right, zipping right along, I'm going to read verses 7 and 8. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished on us in all wisdom and insight. We have redemption through his blood. Right? Shedding of blood. Let's sing a quick chorus. What can wash away my sin? Nothing, Nothing but, but the, the blood, blood of Jesus. Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing, Nothing but, but the blood, blood of Jesus. Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. Oh, other fount I know. Nothing, Nothing but, but the, the blood, blood of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Didn't sing it well. That's okay. But but that's a beautiful hymn. It's yes, nothing it but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood. However, and let's consider this. Isaiah came into the heavenly temple of God, in the presence of God, who was sitting on his throne, lofty and exalted, while the train of his robe filled the temple. You know where I am? There were seraphim hovering around the throne, crying out with a heaven-shaking voice. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And it's written in Isaiah chapter 6. He said, then I said, woe is me, for I am ruined, because I am a man of unclean lips, for I live among people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me with a burning coal, live coal, it says in King James, live coal in his hand, which he'd taken from the altar with tongs. And he touched my mouth with that live coal. He touched my mouth with it and said, Behold, this has touched your lips, and your iniquity is taken away, and your sin is forgiven. Isaiah 6, mm -hmm. verses 5 through 7. And so that there. Is explanation. Well, I thought it was nothing but the blood. <laughs> but this is why we have to be willing to go before God and seek him through his Holy Spirit. Because the answer is always there. Yes. And God is consistent. Yes. He is persistent and he is consistent. All right? Isaiah's sin was forgiven by a live coal. But interestingly, in the Hebrew, mm -hmm. and this, I mean, this is what's pull out your little concordance God. and go study this. In the Hebrew, that word for coal there is literally ritzbah which means pavement. That's what it means in Hebrew, pavement. Why didn't they put, hey, he, why, when they translated it, why didn't they put pavement? Because they didn't understand it. But that's what it says. It doesn't matter if you understand it. Right. Put what it says. The coal was a living prophetic symbol of what was to come. Not the coal, the pavement. It says in John 19, 13, Therefore, when Pilate heard these words, he brought Jesus out and sat down on the judgment seat at a place called the pavement. But in Hebrew, Gabbatha, John 19, 13, he judged Jesus while he sat at a place called the pavement. He was judged, Jesus was judged, found not guilty, and then sentenced to death at a place called the pavement, and then handed over to be crucified. The truth of the word will always point to the word of the cross. Okay? It was about, it took it right to the place where Jesus was judged and crucified. Think about the words of Paul when he said, and when I came to you, brethren, I did not come with superiority of speech or of wisdom proclaiming to you the testimony of God. For I determined to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. 1 Corinthians 2 verses 1 and 2. It's always about the word of the cross. Something that is not being preached very frequently in the churches around us today. The fear of the Lord and the word of the cross. The shed blood of Jesus, the shed Christ. Blood of Jesus Christ. 
judged for us, judged and found not guilty and sentenced to death because we were deserving of death. Yes. The wages of sin is death. And he went to that cross and paid the price for us. We have to understand that. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you on the altar to make atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that makes atonement for the soul. Leviticus 17.11 